Hello friends and potential friends. Well, this is an exciting day for me. I've started planting some seeds for the winter crop. Before I get into them, I also planted one of the peach sprouts. And that's all new growth you see on there. So I've got high hopes for that one. The other two look like they're still trying to grow roots, but I haven't seen any new growth on them yet. So I'll leave them in the water. The bonsai rosemary its getting kind of shaggy again. Going to need another trim. But today is September 10th, 2022. And I started planting seeds. These are all tomatoes. I think there's 13 varieties of them this year. And if I have some poor germination, I've got a few more varieties here I can put in the dirt. Also plan on putting a couple of, uh, or a few more asparagus. And I'm going to try the Black Beauty eggplants again. They didn't do well for me in the spring, so I'm going to try growing them in the winter. But for the tomatoes, we've got an Amana tomato, Boxcar Willie, Homestead tomato, Roma tomato, Floridade tomato, a uh, generic beefsteak. These seeds were from 2017, so we'll just see how they do. This one over here is a, can't read my own writing, yellow pear, yellow pear tomato. Back here we've got a garden peach, and incidentally I put a lot of seeds in that one because I'm planning on putting some of those garden peach plants out on the front porch in one of my green stalks this year so I can gather up some more seeds from them. Got an Everglades tomato over there. Praxis cherry, of course. I plant that one every year. Mule team tomato. Red brandy wine. And ponderosa. Kind of a good mix of cherry types and a few paste types and a couple of slicers. So now it's just a matter of waiting to see what happens. Now you may not recognize this technique I use. Basically I just use these little dishes. They're less than an inch deep. Put a layer of soil in there. Sprinkle the seeds on top of the soil. And then sprinkle a little bit more soil over top of the seeds. That way when they start coming up I find it's fairly easy transplant the seedlings into yogurt cup, separating them out at the same time. I've had pretty good success with that in the last few years, so I'm going to continue using that technique. And once I start putting these guys into yogurt cups, this is going to fill up fast. But like I said, it's the 10th of September. I'm actually about five days early. I usually wait until the 15th to start planting seeds and tomatoes are the first things that I plant but I just couldn't wait any longer what can I say so somewhere around the second half of October I plan on moving these tomatoes outside and by then I'll also know what kind of space I'm gonna have in here and I'll start planting some of my cooler weather crops later on towards the end of September because we've had a few days, or a few more days, when we haven't gotten up to 90 recently. So the temperatures are starting to moderate. If it's still a little bit warm when I start moving these outside, that's fine. Tomatoes can handle it. But the cool weather, weather crops, uh, lettuce and cabbage and Swiss chard and all that good stuff, if I plant them outside in Octo October, They'll start bolting as soon as they come up. But I'm planting seeds finally. Let's go take a quick look outside. Not a lot to see out there. Let's see, those are my Christmas sweet potatoes. 
It looks like one of the raccoons has been in here. I got a plan for that. But I pl I'll be digging those probably just before or just after Christmas. I got this bed topped off, but I still need to put some mulch on it. And the raccoons were into this one too. Back here under the jungle. Yep, I still haven't done anything with these sweet potatoes from seed. The okra, on the other hand, I've been coming out and looking at this every day because I'm getting, oh, anywhere from 8 to 12 okra pods every day. In the last two or three weeks, these things have really started going crazy. Oops. There's another one. That one wasn't there this morning. <laughs> they do come up quick when they, once they come. And there's another pot over there. Might have to come off of there this afternoon. My second planting of okra. They haven't started flowering yet. But they sure are getting tall. And standing up straight too. I've made a note to myself. Oh look, there's another little baby one there and another flower. And I, going forward when I plant my okra, I'm going to have to give them some kind of support. Because that first bunch of them, we had some pretty strong winds a few weeks ago and it blew them all over the place. Now my corn. Down at this end we got bodacious. Oh look, we got ladybugs too. Hello ladybug. I've got one ear here that's filling out pretty good. This one over here has, is not filling out very good because I don't have a whole lot of pollen out here. Most of them are not really tasseling. The popcorn is pretty much giving it up. But then as you can see as I look around the bottom, a lot of these other things are knocked over because the raccoons have been playing in here quite a bit. Well, I've got a one of my critter cams set up over there so that I can watch them at night. And they've been having a field day in here. So I have a plan. Yesterday I ordered a Gallagher electric fence. And I plan on putting it around all of my raised beds. The raccoons are not going to be happy with me. But that's got to happen because... I want to get some of the food out of here. Furs Lane's still doing wonderful. And that's going to have to move pretty soon. The beans. Well, raccoons have been playing in here a bit too. They're not really eating the beans, but they tend to knock them over and dig them up and all that fun stuff. So definitely time to teach the raccoons where they can and where they can't play. I mean, they had a field day in here a couple days ago. Knocked over a bunch of these pink-eyed purple holes. Which are still producing. And I'm getting about a dozen pods off of here every day now, too. Patience Garden. Still testing my patience. That one there just came up a couple days ago. And I don't see any more right offhand, but they're still popping up. And I have a plan for this too. As soon as it gets a co little bit cooler to where I can get out here and do some work, I'm going to take one of these metal beds and put it together and wrap it around the asparagus patch. That's going to give me about three to four more feet of growing space. So that's why I'm going to be planting a few more asparagus seeds in the next week or so. But eventually I'm going to have an electric fence coming right down through here, wrapping around the front wrapping around on the other side of the okra and then down not too close to that oak tree over there and when I turn that thing on 
I don't think the raccoons are going to be playing in my raised beds anymore. But that's about it for now. So I'll bring this to a close and I'll see you next time.